The WhatsApp Gold Network Traffic Analysis Plus feature integrates comprehensive IT infrastructure monitoring along with network traffic visibility and analysis. Watch this video to learn how to download, install, and integrate WhatsApp Gold and the NTA Plus Collector. Then you'll learn how to use dashboards and reports to review your network traffic data. The NTA Plus feature is powered by a Progress Flowmon data collector. The Flowmon product is another solution in the Progress portfolio alongside WhatsApp Gold, so you may see references to Flowmon as you complete these steps. To get started using NTA Plus with WhatsApp Gold, make sure you have received an email message confirming your purchase of an NTA Plus license. This message includes an attached file which contains a license key file. To download the NTA Plus data collector, launch a web browser and navigate to the Progress Community website as directed by the link you received in the email confirmation. Click Product Downloads. Then locate the tile containing Flowmon and click its Download Center link. Click Flowmon Platform, then locate and click the version of Flowmon that matches your license. If you see an Update package at the top of the page, skip it. Instead, scroll down the page and locate the Flowmon Collector Virtual Appliance for your virtual environment. Click Download Archive to download a zip file containing the NTA Plus Collector which is a virtual machine image. To install the NTA Plus Data Collector, locate and extract the contents of the zip file that you downloaded from the Progress Community. After you have extracted this virtual machine image file, deploy it to your virtual environment. Please note, this process varies depending on the virtual environment that you use. This video shows a VMware environment. To find specific instructions for your environment, Visit the Flowmon Virtual Appliances documentation located here. After you have deployed the NTA Plus Collector, power it on, then copy its IP address. Now you must finish the licensing process. Open a new browser tab and enter the IP address of the NTA Plus Collector as the URL. Then log into the web interface using the default username admin and password admin. Open the Configuration Center, then review and accept the End User License Agreement. Open the License tab, click Choose File, and navigate to the key file that was attached to your License Confirmation email message. Click Upload. At this point, it's a good idea to change the password for the data collector to something other than the default setting. Open the System tab and click User Settings. Click the Edit icon for the admin user, Select the Change Password checkbox, and then type and confirm the new password. Now that the NTA Plus Collector is licensed, you can return to your virtual environment and make the necessary configurations to send network flow data to the collector. Again, this process depends on the virtual environment in use. For more information, refer to the Flowmon Virtual Appliances documentation on docs.progress.com. After you have deployed and configured the NTA Plus Collector in your virtual environment, you are ready to discover and monitor it in WhatsApp Gold. When the collector is monitored, you have visibility into the flow data that it is collecting, and you're able to view it in WhatsApp Gold along with your other network statistics. Log into WhatsApp Gold, and from the Discover menu, select New Scan. Enter the IP address of your NTA Plus Collector device as the starting device set. At this point, you can optionally configure any other devices, credentials, or discovery options. But for the purpose of integrating WhatsApp Gold with NTA Plus, you can simply open the Review and Run tab, then click Run to begin the discovery scan. After you successfully discover the NTA Plus Collector device, you need to create a REST API credential to allow WhatsApp Gold to communicate with the collector and gather flow data from it. From the Settings menu, open the Credentials Library. Click the Add icon, then select a credential type of REST API. Configure the new credential for your NTA Plus collector by entering a name and description for the credential, then select an auth type of OAuth 2.0. Select a grant type of password grant. Enter the token URL in the format shown here. 
enter the username and password required to access your NTA Plus collector, and enter a client ID of Invea Tech. Click Test. If the test is successful, click OK. If the test fails, review the values you have entered and make any corrections that are needed. Then retest the credential until it succeeds. Click Save to add the new credential to the library. Now you can start monitoring the NTA Plus collector device. From the Discover menu, select Discovered Network. Locate and select the NTA Plus collector. On the Device Information card, click Start Monitoring and click Start to confirm. Finally, you must assign the REST API credential to the device in order to have access to the network traffic data. Select My Network and locate the NTA Plus collector. Right-click it, then select Device Properties. On the Device Properties page, open the Credentials tab. Locate the REST API credential and click its Edit link. Select the credential you created, then click OK. At this point, WhatsApp Gold is fully integrated with the NTA Plus collector. After integrating WhatsApp Gold with NTA Plus, you can view the network flow data gathered by the NTA Plus collector. In WhatsApp Gold, open the NTA Plus menu and select the NTA Plus dashboard. Here you see individual dashboard reports which fall into one of two categories. The first group of reports show specific data points applicable to network traffic. These include traffic in bits per second, flows per second, packets per second, response time in milliseconds, and the number of retransmissions. Each report can be filtered by date and time, or source which is sometimes referred to as a profile. Examples include DHCP requests and replies, DHCP server client traffic, ICMP-based traffic, mail-related traffic, router traffic, and others. The second group of reports focuses on security events detected by the Flowmon Anomaly Detection System. Please note that in order to view security event data within these reports, you must have a Flowmon license that includes anomaly detection. Additionally, you must select a perspective for the data. You can expand any of the NTA Plus reports into a full page view. Using the traffic report as an example, here you see a chart showing the traffic data, followed by a smaller chart providing a daily overview. Below this, you see a grid of the individual channel data represented in the main chart. To include or exclude a channel, select or clear its checkbox. Click the Settings icon for a report to customize many of its settings. You can toggle the chart or the channel grid off and on. You can choose a different type of chart to use or change other visualization options. You can turn off the NPM response time and retransmission metrics that are included in the report by default. Finally, you can choose to ignore SSL errors or change the timeout and port used for communication with the NTA Plus connector. These individual network traffic reports are also available for you to add to your own custom dashboard. Open the custom dashboard and click the Add Reports icon. On the Add Reports panel, expand the Network Traffic NTA Plus category and add or drag your desired reports into the dashboard. Finally, you can also view dashboards within the Flowmon web interface. Navigate to the Dashboards and Reports page and click Create Dashboard. To keep things simple, create a predefined dashboard such as Status or NetOps, or create a new empty dashboard and add the widgets you want to see. Thank you for watching this video explaining the steps to download, install, and integrate WhatsApp Gold and the NTA Plus Collector.